J.D. Nigel, Word of Truth. Good morning, believers. Good morning, Israel. J.D. Nigel, Word of Truth. Bible teaching with Jeff Deloach. Um, welcome, subscribe if you want to be taught the Bible correctly. All praises, honor, and glory to the Most High, the Heavenly Father, the only begotten Son, the Holy Spirit. We love you. We honor you. We praise you. You are everything to us. You are more than life itself. We're willing to give up our lives to please you and follow you and abide in your word. Amen. So we've been looking at Harpazo and all the biblical things that... Um, All the biblical examples that point to a personal, personal Jesus. It's personal. It's not. The only ones that are really bound within the Christ head are the ones that are doing the correct work, the fallen angels that have risen to this authority that I have. And if you're at this authority that I have, you're not going to be pointing fingers at Satan. You're not going to be pointing fingers at anyone because what the Lord has these people doing or what they're doing. So if you want to talk about Satan, you can talk about Tahar, Gabar, spiritual life lessons, um, Tony Williams. They just happen to be all Negroes. You could talk you could also point to Joyce Myers, the Joker, um Creflo Dollar, T D Snakes, um Joel Osterstein. They're teaching they're teaching a worldly God and he, he's not a worldly God. How do we know he's not a worldly God? Because in the same chapter that we were just in, I'll just keep reading John 15. Um, he says, you're my friends. And what's, what's the greatest thing a friend can do? The greatest thing a friend can do is lay down his life. So I take that shit seriously because this is red letter. So if he says, you're going to have to die for me, J.D. Nyjah. I believe it. You're my friend if you die for me. Um, greater love has no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. Do you think Jesus is fucking around? Tony Williams, do you think he's bullshitting right there? What? You, you, you want to stand by the word. If it says it, if it says it, then you got to believe it. If it says, you marble heads out there. You marble heads just don't get it. Blah, blah, blah. Tony, you don't get it, Tony. The gospel isn't about getting anything. It's about giving, you butt lick. Sorry, believers. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to get mad today. I refuse to get mad anymore. I'm angry inside, but I'm not going to show it to you. Henceforth, I call you not servants, for the serveth, servant knoweth not what his Lord does, but I call you friends. I'm a servant to you, but I'm a friend. I'm part of the family. But I have called you friends for all things that I have heard of my Father, I have made known unto you. Why do I know these things? Because I'm willing to die. You're going you're gonna to get, you're going to have all kinds of psychopathic thought processes if you think that the rapture is anything like most Bible teachers tell you. They don't know what it looks like. They'll tell you all kinds of things. 
oh, a chariot's going to come down from the sky. A UFO is going to beam you up. Um, we're all going to beam up together. Uh, your body's going to stay, but your spirit's going to go. Oh, your body and your spirit's going to go. Your body and your spirit's going to disappear like you're in a blink of an eye. Blah, 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 blah. They don't know what it looks like. We don't know what it looks like. So if we don't know what it looks like, why are we having these vain imaginations? Easier just to, to do what the Bible says. I'm ready to die for you, Lord. You have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain that whatsoever you ask of the Father in my name, he may give it to you. These things I command you that you love one another. He says it over and over again. How do I love you? I die for you. There's nothing better than for a... Let me read it. Maybe I should just put this in my hat. There is no greater love has no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. Greater love has no man than this, to give up his life for his friends. Greater love is this, that no man... Greater love has this, that no man... Greater love has no man than this. Greater love has no man than this. Greater love has no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. A greater love has no man than this, than to give up his life for his friends. Greater love has no man than this, to give up his life for his friends. How do we know that we're not of this world? How do we know that I'm right and these guys are wrong? Because no one likes me. Even you, even you people that listen to me, some of you don't really like me. That's all right. That's the world side of you going, oh, I hate this guy. Because I'm telling you spiritual things, you don't like it. But you're fighting through it. That's, that's the race. That you listen and understand. Um, verse 16, 18. The world will hate Jesus' followers. If the world hate you, you know that it hated me before it hated you. If you were of the world, the world would love his own. But because you are not of this world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hates you. What's the biggest clue that I'm telling you the truth? No one's here. Except you. How do you know you're blessed? Because you're here. Where no one's at. Where the world the world does not come here. The world will not allow this to, to grow. The world, it cannot grow. But does that stop me? No. Why? Because I was chosen to do this. I was chosen to be this prick. This lonely, fallen angel. This servant of the Lord who's a friend of God to get to get steamrolled. I ain't seen nothing yet. Uh, why do you think I'm enjoying my life? He's giving me, he's giving me this last push. He wants to see what I got. You think it's not difficult to not say, well, this is a good time to get back on dope and and go vandalize some vagina and run amok in my mind. You think, you think I haven't run amok in my mind? I have been so insane. I have, I have been to the edge of the world, people, with my insanity. No, no joke. Not afraid to tell you. I could go, I could go crazy in a month. I could go completely crazy in a month. I know how to do it. I could go completely bonkers. Probably quicker. I'm very susceptible to, to going insane. So my goal now is to live clean. Because I have to do these messages. I can't go insane.
Remember the word that I said unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my saying, they will keep yours also. So you people, that's what I say to you all the time. You lovely people, my Masha people, bingy people, I and I, most high children of the God. You hear me and you abide here. There's a few of us. It's going to be a slow process. And being here is not easy. <laughs> Getting to know the Lord is not easy, people. It's not one, two, buckle your shoe, three, four, shut the door, five, six, pick up sticks. Are you kidding me? But all these things will they do unto my namesake because they know not him that sent me. I have a hard time knowing who sent me. And I'm a friend. I'm still searching. That's why I asked the Lord. I go, I don't like them because they don't know you. And he's all, and? I went. Basically, he was saying, when he said, and? He was asking me, and you do? Are you here with me? Are you guys here? Do you know what I'm telling you? Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Even me. I don't have no 100% truth. Are you kidding me? I'm a faithful servant. I'm just here doing the best I can. I'm not, I'm, I'm reading the Bible. I'm reading the word of God, the red letter right now. If I had not come and spoken unto them, they had not had sin, but now they have no cloak for their sin. He that hateth me hateth my father also. If I had not done among them the works which no other man did, they had not had sin, but now have they both seen and hated both me and my father. This is the problem. See, I was sent by Jesus to do this. And if you're making videos of me saying I'm racist, you're so far from the truth. What's it say? It says, I've proven, I've proven to you over these 3,000 videos, however many, a lot. You can go back and you can see the progression and the things that God has given me, the miracles, the truth. And you could go, this guy's the real deal. He's a prophet. And you can, you, that, that's you 12 or you 20 that are here listening mostly that are really want to know. But these other, these people that I'm actually trying to get over here or over to God come 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 a little this way can you come a little this way can you talk about what I'm saying to you Tony I leave you messages bro I, I'm I'm only gonna try so hard you're 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 pretty much reprobate you're done bro sorry Jay Hall whoa go ahead and hate me that's proof that you're all fucked up Hate me and do and persecute me and say that I'm racist and say that I'm misogynist and say that I'm bugged out and say, I don't care. I'm not the bugged out one. Um, but this cometh to pass that the word might be fulfilled that is written in their law. They hated me without cause. But when the comforter has come, when I will send unto you from the father, even the spirit of truth. Word of truth, word, which proceedeth from the Father, he shall testify of me, and you shall, and you also shall bear witness, because you have been with me from the beginning. Well, there we go. We brought it all around. How long have I been with him? How long have some of you been with him? Forever. There is no beginning and no end. It's 
all the same. You're a spirit. He's the first and the last. The Alpha and the Omega. All right, let's get this. Um, <laughs> teaching the Bible from my truck, right none. Right. <laughs> Matthew. So we're gonna look at giving up the ghost. Give up the body, give up the body. What's the ghost? The ghost is the soul. That's that's the body and the spirit connected. That's the soul, as far as I can tell. The soul is the body and the soul connected. That's why they call it soul tie. When you're tied to one of these wicked narcissists. Because your body and your spirit got intertwined. You love them, but they hated you. And your body wants them. Because the more they hate you, the more you love them. Did you hear me? Why do we have soul ties with these wicked demons? Because we're actually trying to love them, but they hate us. And all that hate that we feel makes us want to love them more because they're so pathetic and so hurt and so bound. That's why I love my snow. We have no soul tie. It's pure spirit. She has a great body. She loves sex. I like sex. Still. But I'm learning something. I'm learning. When she wants me, I'll give her all I got. Until then, I've given her all I got. I love her. So there's that. For real. Um, so. Matthew 27, 50. <laughs> you know, Tony Williams... He couldn't even say Geth Gethsemane. 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 The TH is silent, Tony. Gethsemane. What kind of Bible teacher can't has never heard the word Gethsemane? Gethsemane means olive press. Why can't why can't Tony Baloney, Tony Williams from Street Ministers for Christ, if you want to go watch some crazy, he's fun to watch, man. He's crazy. It's fun, but it's not, it's not real. It's bugged out, hardcore, psychopathic Christianity. Gethsemane means olive press. Why does Gethsemane mean olive press? Why does Tony Williams not understand that? Because the olive press is where you get the anointing oil. It's where you get the olive oil. That's where you get the spirit. So we're here in Jesus' prayer in Gethsemane. I was just talking about prayer, and so here we are. So we're going to go straight over to it. Um, I don't know why it pulled up 2750. Very interesting, because this is not where... It doesn't, this isn't where he gave up the ghost. Maybe it was Mark. Maybe, did I screw that up? Matthew, Mark. Let me see Mark, see if Mark 2750. I don't even think Mark has a, tw a chapter 27. No, that's odd, huh? Anyway, this is where it talks about, <laughs> this is back to Judas Iscariot. What does Jesus call Judas Iscariot? Being, see how the, this is an example of how the Holy Spirit works. So we were just in John and he was saying, you're no longer a servant, but you're a friend because you're willing to die for my sake. And I sent you and, and the, my father gave you this knowledge because you're my friend. 
Is that correct? Did we just go through that? Yes, we did. So what did God do? He brought me <laughs> I can't believe he did this. I can't believe that the Lord did this. He brought me over here. Jesus betrayal and arrest. We've talked about Judas Iscariot 500 times now because he's black Hebrew niggerites. Yeah, I said nigger. I say nigger all the time because some people are niggas. Nigger, nigger, nigger. Jew, Jew, Jew. People need to stop putting so much emphasis on words and start getting some feeling. How do we know that Judas Iscariot <laughs> oh he's the son of perdition he's he's Satan <laughs> Jesus betrayal and arrest and while he yet spoke lo Judas one of the twelve one of the twelve came and with a great multitude with swords and stabs from the chief priests and elders of the people now he that betrayed him gave them a sign saying whosoever I shall kiss that same as he hold him fast and forthwith he came to Jesus and said, Hail, Master. What did he call him? He called him Rabboni. Teacher. Master. Right? Let me see. Let me make sure. I don't want to lead you astray. I'm not one of those guys. Greek. Rabbi. Teacher. Rabbi. Rabboni. He called him Master. Rabbi. Rabbi. Rabboni. He said, Hail, Rabboni and he kissed him and Jesus said unto him friend red letter wherefore art thou come the harpazo thing I guess the Lord he said I, you've given him enough on that stop it back to Satan When the rabbi, when the master, when Jesus, who is God in a manly form, when God asks Judas Iscariot, where you come from? Where did, where did God ask Satan back in Job? Where did you come from? Well, I've been going to and fro throughout the earth looking who I can fuck with. Have you, have you checked out Job, my servant? Have you checked out my servant Job? Maybe you can fuck with him. Nah, you're not going to let me fuck with him. I know you are not going to let me mess with Job. You have him protected. You can do whatever you want. Just don't touch him. Don't kill him. Do you understand, people? This Bible is deeper than, than this fucking small waiting pole bullshit that these guys are talking about. It's way deeper. Way deeper. Do I need to say it again? Way deeper. It's a trap. The book is a trap for fools. It really is. What did he call Judas Iscariot? My friend. You know what? I think it was Matthew 24, 7 maybe. I can't get off. I can't get off Harpazo. 2450. All right. Again, the Lord brought me here. Let me see what I got. Fuck. So much going on today. So much going on. Why do I have to do five videos? Why? Because there's a lot to say. And the Lord of that servant shall come in a day when he looketh not for him in an hour that he is not aware of, and shall cut him asunder and appoint him his portion with the hypocrites. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth.
I'm gonna have to come back. I, I gotta do this. Gosh darn it. All right, I'll be back. Over and over again, teaching the Bible, people. That's what I do. Holy cow. Go surfing a couple days and look what happens. 